Well, hello, folks. This is Fat Guy Flies RC coming to you from the Avon Park Earl Mahler's Club. Sorry, Mama had to work, so you're going to put with me and the GoPro. I'm going to take up the uh, FMS Cessna Skyline 182. I just can't help but keep wanting to fly this plane. I just love flying her. Just get it's such a nice I mean, I love my jets, but this is a nice change from jets. Just a nice scale plane. Now it's kind of windy out of the east. Not real super windy, but enough to let it know it's there. And uh, it's 98 degrees here in uh, early June in Florida, 24. Running a 2700 4S. Not doing any speed runs today. Little of a knife edge here. Landing flaps. A little bit of wind, but not too bad. Wind caught me there at the very end. Here we're gonna do flaps up. Or flap our takeoff flaps and see how that goes. Lifts right up, no problem at all. Flaps up. I kind of just stall her, see what she does. Got a wind sock on the uh, GoPro now to kind of help with the wind noise. Hoping that'll help. That is such a good looking, great flying jet. Our jet. So used to jets. Time remaining, minutes. Great flying plane. All right, bring her in. Of course, I'm landing into the wind, so that's that's what you want. Try to keep her a little lower here. Never taking my finger off the throttle. Never taking my finger off the throttle. Throttle is your number one control. People think it's your elevator or your ailerons, but actually it's your throttle. Your throttle dictates your descent, your ascent, obviously your airspeed. Everything else is just keeping the plane level or the direction you want it to go. But that, but how that plane reacts to each of those control surfaces is dictated by your throttle. Throttle is the most important control, control you've got. Now, a lot of people say I'll put Dubrow's low bounce tires on this to get rid of that rattle, but I, I guess I'm the only RC modeler out there, RC pilot out there, that likes the rattle. <laughs> All right, let's give ourselves a grass landing this time. Okay, grass landing and take off. A little bit of an aerobatic, well, kind of a, not much of a snap roll, but a fairly tight roll.
Time remaining, two minutes. All right, still got two minutes. Like I say, it is hot today. Yeah, I said when I first got this plane, she was going to be a touch and go machine. And I that absolutely am right. She is a touch and go machine. All right, we're going to bring it by dirty. Oh, the flaps are down, gonna come right at me. Get a good look at it. So I got my flaps down. All right. This is just one, and I have no, no kind of gyro, no kind of stabilization at all in this plane. I don't need flaps. That's why I'm so wonky right now. I gotta have my flaps down, to be honest with you. Alright. Going in the wind. And I got a strong enough wind that I definitely don't need flaps. Get lined up with the center line. Level my wings. Flare just a touch. And wheelie, wheelie, wheelie on in. Alright, we got 31 seconds. We'll go ahead and take off from down here. Oh yeah, she's got brakes. Reverse thrust. Alright. Had 16 seconds left on a five and a half minute timer. Let me show you my bad replacement. Right there. Okay, that's the 2700. Let's check the battery. Oh, sorry. Not bad. 34%. Not bad at all. All right. Well, folks. That is the FMS Cessna 182 Skylane. Uh, 1.5 meter airplane, got lights, flaps. Uh, it's got a suspension on the uh, nose gear. Got flashing lights in the rear, nav lights, the entire package. Just a great, great flying plane. Well, folks, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends in Cessna Skylanes. Bye-bye.